All right, welcome back everybody, and thank you so much for joining us this morning for our reading of the book Squeak. And for today's craft, we are going to do a little something. Uh, the boys and I used to make these all the time when we would go out on what we would call our nature walks. And we live out in the country, so we like to see the trees and the animals, rocks, there's a creek by our house. So today we are going to be making our very own binoculars and or animal finders, whatever you would like to call them. And the material you'll need for today are a couple toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, whatever you have on hand, a paintbrush, some paints or markers, crayons, whatever you'd like to use to decorate and color with, um, glue and either stickers, I have glitter for today's, and a couple paper clips, and I'll tell you about those and why you'll need them. So if you want to gather up material and uh, get back here, we'll see you here in just a second. Okay, so now that we've gathered everything that we need, I want you to go ahead and grab your paper plate. And for this, I did go ahead and paint my toilet paper rolls for the sake of the drying process, just so we can work with them while they were dry. So you might have to wait a little bit when you do paint your rolls um, for them to dry, and then we can go ahead and start with this step here, which would be to add a little bit of glue to your plate here. And I'll show you why we're gonna need that in a minute. And then a little bit of glue to your roll because we are going to glue them together. So if you just want to put them together like this with the glue and those two little paper clips I told you about, after many years of holding and waiting for things to dry, I discovered if you just slide a couple paper clips right in the center where they're glued, you can work with them without worrying about your glue coming undone. So nifty little trick. And for this one today, like I said, for this one here, I use stickers to decorate, just little stars, something I had on hand. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and decorate with glitter. So I'll take the same paintbrush that I used to paint my toilet paper roll and just go ahead and glide the glue along the painted edges. And a little film will go a long way because as we know, glitter sticks and stays and you'll be finding it for a while. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue both sides here. Just get that mix on there. And like I said, the boys and I used to go out all the time on our nature walks. Well, we still do, but we would take our little binoculars and we would find our walking sticks and we would try to find animal tracks, different types of leaves and plants, go walk along the creek, find cool rocks. They still kind of like to find rocks. And go ahead and set your paintbrush aside and set that on there. Now for today, I do have green glitter and I have some white glitter. And again, just whatever you have on hand at home. Now grabbing from the clipped side, just very gently sprinkle your glitter. And then just kind of tap it off. Because once you have it stuck, it'll go a long way, this glitter. I'll flip it upside down as well. Okay. And using my white glitter, just because I like to mix it up a little bit, we'll go ahead and sprinkle that on here. And tap it on your plate. And some more variations you could do here. This is a very simplistic idea, one that you can use with toddlers, preschoolers, and even some of the older kids. They just like to get messy with glue and use sparkly things, stickers, things like that. You can also put a film of saran wrap or um, even if you have a little piece of plastic, you can almost make your lens to go on your binoculars. So then you can really pretend to see. So really, once the glue has dried, you can go ahead and peel your paper clips and let the glitter settle and dry on your tubes as well. But really, that's pretty simple craft. You can go ahead and uh, take them outside, view through the viewfinders here, and go on your own little animal hunt. So. I thank you so much for joining us today. Please join us again next week at 11 o'clock where we join in for our story time and craft. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, bye.